Hi, I'm Stu. Welcome back to another LumaFusion video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to go beyond the six times limit that LumaFusion sets for speeding up a clip. Let's get started. Increasing the speed's obviously an easy thing to do. I like the clip, tap on your little pencil icon, and then you're going to rack up the speed to six times, and you hit that limit 600%. That's as fast as LumaFusion and move the pixels. Once we've done that, we come back out and you'll now see your video that was 25 seconds is now just over four seconds. Now if we play it through, it's gonna be a little bit janky and stuttery and that's okay because it's just the nature of how frames are getting dropped as everything speeds up in the preview. But what you're gonna do is to go beyond 600% and make it even faster is export the clip. to movie photos and try and export it at a really good quality tap export let it do its thing and once it's done that what you're then going to do is go to photos and then go to all photos and video here's our four second clip i'm just going to drag it down onto the timeline and play it through and you'll see when you play the exported version it's fast but an awful lot smoother if you want at this point you can get rid of the original clip you don't need it there because we've got a copy of it and then from there if you want to speed things up even further now that we've got it at 600 percent you can then go even faster back into speed and reverse and i'm just going to increase things to maybe around about one and a half times so 150 percent that looks pretty good and then play it through and that's doing its job and there you go, that's it. That's all you've got to do. Every time you want to speed something up, you're going to need quite a lengthy clip. The minimum is going to be at least 25 seconds like I've got here. But realistically, you're going to want even maybe a minute, a minute and a half worth of footage to be able to shrink it down. To break the 600% barrier, you just export the clip and then you can then apply and export again. You could do this exponentially, but obviously it gets to the point where it really looks kind of rough. That's how you do it. It's as simple as that. And I'll see you on the next one. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up, as it really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, for more video tutorials every week, and ring the bell to get notified of when Stu has uploaded a new video tutorial. You have been watching, I am Stu, see you later.